Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to AdminSoft accounts. In this podcast, we are going to look at the addition of stock items. Now, stock items are going to be under our heading of stock controls. So I'm just going to pull down the drop down menu there and we can see stock details. This is where we are going to start. So we open our screen for that and we can't find what we're going to do because we're going to put a new one in. So we click on new and it's going to start by saying can we please have a code for it. Well we can because I'm going to put in strimmer elect which is basically going to be for an electric strimmer so I can click on that and put in the details there. I'm not going to put in any further description. I'm not going to put there where it, we're keeping it because that's not relevant. Now I can either classify it as goods or service so it's clearly goods. Unit is each because we're going to sell these off one at a time. Is the stock going to be controlled? Yes we leave that as it is. We're not interested in the European codes or in the weight or in solvent so we've got most of the stuff there except we now want a selling price. We're going to sell this for 40 pounds that's price per unit and the unit of issue is one. Is it okay to sell? Yes. VAT rate one. We're going to ignore all the charges, commission and sales discount. So that's but fine for the moment. Now let's go for purchasing. Our minimum quantity is going to be uh, let's say 10 of these and the maximum quantity that we want to hold is 30 so the reorder level needs to be round about 12 is it a non-stock item? No, it's a stock item is the item still available? Yes the cost price for each one is going to be 20 that's price each, that's fine and now there's no analysis at the moment, no movement, no sales, no purchase orders. This is what PO means. We haven't got a purchase order out and no quotes received as yet. What we need, of course, for stock items are suppliers. So I've got suppliers here and I'm going to add a preferred supplier. So I'm going to look through my suppliers and this article is coming from McTavish Engineering. That's the preferred supplier and that is all that we need for that at the moment so we can say OK and we'll click on save there again so that's fine OK so that was adding a stock item and just to check that it's there I'm going to go into stock control and I'm going to get a list of stock items here we are and I can see my electric strimmer. Currently I've got three stock items there. And that's the addition of stock at, or stock items which you may well now find are more commonly referred to as inventory and certainly in the US you would use the term inventory and not stock which would confuse it with things like shares. Anyway that's then addition of stock items. Thank you.